The Red Sox are in Baltimore, and John Lackey's facing the O's for the first time since 2011. First inning, though, Lackey runs into trouble. Manny Machado rips an RBI double into left field, his Major League best 31st two-bagger of the year, part of a two-run inning for Baltimore. Top of the fourth now, the Red Sox get on the board against Freddie Garcia. There's a man on for Mike Karp, and Karp goes deep to right field for a two-run shot, his eighth of the year, and we are all tied at two. Later in the inning, more Red Sox offense as Stephen Drew steps in with a man aboard. And Stephen Drew lines this to right field. It's going to get down. Holmes racing to third base. He will be waved around by Butterfield. Here we go. Throw to the plate, and Gomes will be safe. Johnny Gomes, not known for his speed, but he scores all the way from first base to make it 3-2 Boston, and he'll need to rehydrate in the dugout. That would eventually pay off top six with the Red Sox up 4-2. Gomes goes deep to center off Garcia for a solo home run, his fourth of the year, and Garcia is done after five and a third. He leaves with the birds trailing at 5-2. Back to Lackey, settling down after the Rocky first. Bottom seven, there's a man on for Ryan Flaherty. He'll rip one to the right side, but Mike Karp loves it to start the unassisted double play. And then Taylor Teagarden grounds out the shortstop to end the frame. Lackey goes seven, allows seven hits and two earned runs with four strikeouts. Bottom nine now, still a 5-2 Red Sox lead. Andrew Bailey on to close, but he'll serve one up to Matt Wieters with a man on. That's a two-run home run, number nine on the year for Wieters, and it's a one-run ball game. The Red Sox lead it 5-4. So perhaps John Farrell, the Boston manager, starting to get a bit nervous. J.J. Hardy would then single, but the possible tying run at first base, Alexi Casilla would come into pinch run, so now Bailey has to face Ryan Flaherty with one on and one out. Flaherty to right field. On the run is Victorino. He'll get there to make the catch. This could be two. Still running is Casilla, and the Red Sox will win it. How about that? Casilla was running on contact, and a base running error cost the Orioles. The Red Sox escape with a 5-4 win. So the Red Sox snap a brief two-game skid and extend their AL East lead to two and a half games. John Lackey is now 12-4 lifetime against the Orioles, and Jose Iglesias goes one for three on Saturday to extend to a 16-game hit streak.